What's up, Juggalos? The time has come. The Mighty Death Pop Tour starts this Wednesday, May 1st, and from what ICP is saying, it's supposed to run clear through to Hollow Wicked. I guess I even heard somewhere at one point they were even talking about all the way through to December to the end of the year. Don't know. Massive tour coming up, and it should be. It's a fucking massive album. Uh, they announced the uh, face and the name of the My Death Pop, Hollow Wicked of 2010, and they kind of let us sit on it and soak it in real good, and then they hyped the shit out of it, just like The Tempest. But unlike The Tempest, this album actually fucking delivered. A massive, massive fucking album. And I can't believe some people actually say this album fucking sucked because I don't know what's wrong with their earbuds. This shit's fucking awesome, okay? So today, to count down to the tour, we're going to be looking at the Mighty Death Pop. The main album is going to be today, and then tomorrow, we're going to do the Black Pop. Tuesday, Red Pop. And then Wednesday, the day of the tour, you got White Pop. Because I'm hype as fuck for this tour. Unfortunately, usually when ICP comes to Indiana, they usually come towards Hollow Wicked. Of course, they completely missed us last year. You got me. They come almost every year, usually the day before or two days before Hollow Wicked. So, I don't know what happened with that. So, anyway, I've got at least, what, four months before I could even expect to possibly see these guys in concert. But until then, I'm fucking hype as fuck. And I want to do a review in anticipation for it. So... Let's go ahead today. We'll jump into the main album itself. Go ahead and get these little guys out of the way. We'll go ahead and pull out the individual main albums. There's absolutely no difference between them. But the one thing I do want to show you that I need all three for is with this right here. In case you did not catch my Mighty Death Pop video I did last, what, Wednesday? I did a little intro video for you guys where I read you the actual story of the Mighty Death Pop. Now, they didn't get that worked in here, and I know Violent J said something about he, uh, they ran out of time or something like that. In his shoot interview, he gave a link to the actual story. And what I went ahead and did... And uh, what the fuck are you lining up? Oh, that's why. I went ahead and had it printed out. Laminated, well, cut, and then laminated it. And just took the two pieces and split them up amongst the album. So that's my little freshness, my little personal touch to it all that I did. Other than that, absolutely no difference between them besides the fact that I scattered some pieces like a pop balloon. All that aside... Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Hang on, let me make it look like it came out of the package. Alright, there's the front. Now when you first get this, that little insert right there is actually kind of glued, pasted onto the front. I peeled that shit off and stuck it inside though. But uh, it shows you the main Mighty Death Pop there. He's kind of inflated and then pop! He just bursts on your ass. Here's the back, nothing too fancy with all your track listings. I'd go over the track list with you guys, but here in a minute we're going to do a preview of it, so you'll get your track listings there. There's my Death Pop there, and the Pop version again. Got like a little kind of a comic book style carnival game thing with some different quotes from different songs in here. So it's kind of pretty fresh there. Same thing on the back side, just different quotes, along with some different carnival attractions that you might see at a carnival or a circus. And then this little insert where I stuck my little individual pieces of the intro. You got the pop version there. Inside just says my death pop and it's got all your thank yous and the dedicated to the butterfly. And then on the back it says mighty death pop and it's got all the credits to it. Which is why I kind of stuck this in here because, you know, typically you would see this or that and think there'd be a story to it. And that's why I was like, you yeah, know, insert it right in there. Just slide it in there real beautifully. That's not beautifully. That's sticking out. It's going to be a... Hang on, man. I'm looking like an ass right now. Oh, look at that. There it is. You're coming out on me again. Stop 
fighting with me. Alright. Ignore that ever just happened. And of course came out last year, 2012, just in case you didn't know if you were living under a rock. So that's pretty much it. That's I would jump more into kind of the individualities of it, but I'll do that more extensively when I do the individual um, reviews, the red pop, black pop and white pop. Black pop will be tomorrow. So um, if you haven't picked this up, I don't know what you're waiting on. Definitely get it. It's worth it. Much, much, much worth it. That don't even make sense. So, alright guys. I'm going to cut off here with the review. And we're going to jump in and do the preview of it, alright? Much clown love, Joe Lowe's. Whoop, whoop.